What is a relic weapon inside of Final Fantasy XIV? Well, that's what this video is about. I'm going to hopefully answer that question a little bit, talk a little bit about what relic weapons are, why you the viewer should care, and if this is your first one, should you even bother to go get it? There's a lot of people who have joined the game since the release of Endwalker, and I believe what seems that's probably one of its highest player base peaks of all time. So if you don't know what a relic weapon is and you just heard, hey, there's this new Manderville relic weapon, well, hopefully this will help you make an informed decision as to whether or not that piece of content is for you. Let's get started. What is a relic weapon? I'm going to try and explain the base idea here very succinctly and shortly. This is about my 70th attempt at doing this because this is a lot harder to do than you would imagine. It is a weapon that will grow and evolve over time as you complete a series of quests for it, increasing its eye level, changing its base appearance, and typically adding in glows and altering glows as it gets to be higher and higher levels. At the end of the expansion, it will be the best weapon for you and your job. It will be the highest eye level available, being on par with savage weapons, and on top of that, it will have customizable stats that make it so that you can fine-tune it to whatever bis you so choose to be in to give you the most optimal amount of damage out of your weapon. So, you know what a relic weapon is a little bit now. So why do people want them so bad? Why do people go through these massive long quest chains in order to get these relic weapons? Well, number one reason, they look phenomenal. The weapon that you see my character holding right now is the relic weapon from back in A Realm Reborn, the Longinus Zeta? Longinus Zeta? I forget which one it is. I have tr I've read it too many times so it blurs together in my brain, but it is the Zeta Spear from A Realm Reborn. It looks phenomenal. I use it because it looks good. I have collected all of the Dragoon Relic weapons to their final stages, except the, except the Stormblood one, because that one requires Eureka, and I hit Pyros, and I just I need to get back in there eventually, but Pyros really pushed that grind to a stop. I'll finish it eventually. But they look cool. They look really, really cool. That is like the number one reason most people would be grinding at Relic weapons. That's why I have the Relic weapon for my Dark Knight. From Evan's word. I thought this relic weapon looked incredible, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get that relic weapon from Heaven's Word for Dark Knight, so I have an amazing looking glamour weapon. Now, there are there is one other reason that people want the weapon, and that is because it will be Biss. At the end of the expansion, like I said, it will be the most powerful weapon you can have, typically with customizable stats. And because of that, it will be your best in slot weapon. Now one of the old relic weapons is also Biss at the moment, but it is only for old ultimate raids. The Shadowbringer's relic weapon, at the time of recording this video, which is patch 6.28, the Shadowbringer's relic weapon is the Biss weapon for Yukob, Ubu, and T. So the Unending Coil of Bahamut ultimate, the Weapons Refrain ultimate, and the Epic of Alexander ultimate. Those three ultimate fights, the Shadowbringer's relic weapon is the best in slot for them because of the way that its base stats are customizable. I believe, even if I have my Yukub Biss on right now, this is the Uwu distribution of stats for the Dragoon Spear. And as you can see, it allows you to get these giant piles of stats and main stats. And because of the way that eye level sync works, because it's all stats on the weapon and not being added through Materia, it all stays. Materias, materias act weird when eye level sync is active. But that's a long conversation for another video. The bottom line is because of the way that eye level sync works and the way that you assign the stats for the weapon, these weapons are the best in slot for those old ultimate raids. That'll probably change at the end of the expansion when we get to the final form of the Manderville Velik weapons and they get customizable stats as well. But that is another reason why you would have an old relic weapon. But for the most part, they just look good. They're very shiny. They have a really cool general appearance. And on top of all of that, they're kind of a I grinded this out type memento. Are they a tough grind? Sometimes. Are they a time consuming grind? Absolutely. The bottom line is they are a cool looking memento of a period in time of the game for a lot of people, or just something cool that someone went back to get because they thought it looked good. I super love relic weapons as a concept in general, and I highly recommend you grind out your own. If you haven't done one yet, I'd say start with doing the current one. Keep up with the Mandeville Relic Weapon, they're a lot more manageable when you're doing them step by step as they come out. That's what I recommend you do, dear viewer. 
Well, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned a little bit of something about relic weapons. Hopefully I just gave you like a ba basically a taste of what they are. If you want to learn more about them, I recommend doing a bunch of your own research about how to get them. A lot of the old ones are fairly long and involved and in how long they take to get, but they are very much worth the grind. A lot of the old relic weapons are some of my favorite looking weapons in the game. So if you want them for that reason, I highly recommend it. If you want one to start in to kind of dip your toes, like I said earlier, start on the current one. 100% keep going with the current one. These are a lot more manageable if you are doing them as they come out. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video was informative to you in a little bit. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like. Comment if you want to talk about something or mention something. Subscribe if you want to see more content like that. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting on the channel lately. I have been, like, I think my sub count has doubled in the past month or two. It's been wild to me. I really appreciate all the new people showing up and all the positivity that I've seen. Yeah. Thanks for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the video. And above all else, I hope to catch you in the next one.